Is it nailed into the sole? God, I hope not. Or I'm gonna drive to Iowa tonight and I'm gonna kill somebody. It's like holding a live grenade in your hand. She's gotta have just a spinal cord that would look awful on x-ray. Ah, cute little baby! Ponytails Refuge is a full circle of life shelter founded in 2014. As a full circle of life shelter, we take in any horse, mule, donkey, or pony, no matter their age, size, breed, or training. Regardless of their background, we have never turned an animal in need away. Even after 10 years and over 1,100 animals that have come through our gates, you just never know what's going to happen. These are the horse rescue tales from the tundra. So up next we've got oh. Miss Lululemon. Teat. See if she needs her feet done. <laughs> she is blind, so she's a little tough shadows. to catch. And we'll probably have to go slow, but... This is Lululemon. Cutie. She's cute. <laughs> So Lululemon wasn't part of our initial auction group save. Um, she was actually kind of, in a way, like a side purchase. Um, yeah, so <laughs> um, Marissa and I were approached by a kill buyer at this last auction we were at. Um, it was towards the end of the auction, things were wrapping up, and we were gathering our horses that we had initially purchased. Mm -hmm. um, and the kill buyer approached us and he asked us if we would buy one of the horses that he had gotten from him. And at first, initially, we were kind of, you know, cold shouldered to the idea that's not really something we do. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked for a little more information from him. Yep. Um, and to look at her. Yeah. What basically wanted to see what the horse was, what kind of condition it was in, because we had no clue. Um, so he brought me over to this pony and he goes, basically, here she is. Um, she's completely blind. Not what I had expected to purchase. And for that reason, she is useless to me. Um, not the words that we wanted to hear, not what we're about at all in any sort of way. Um, Bray kind of made the comment, um, you know, would Deep down, we just kind of want to leave them stuck with this issue, um, but that's ultimately not fair to the horse. So, um, no, it wasn't in uh, Lulu's best interest, I guess, to be left in that situation. So from that point forward, I went and found Marissa so she could kind of help narrow down what we can do in this situation. And mm -hmm. I called Cindy right away, um, just kind of told her what was going on, what she thought we should do. Um, she basically agreed that, you know, not paired to the horse. Yeah, bring get the horse where it's gonna be yeah, taken so. care of at least. Um, so <laughs> initially, we were told the kill buyer had paid eight fifty for the horse, um, which is well above slaughter price for her size. Um, so again, we were kind of eh, weary to the idea, and then he told us that he'd sell her to us for less, mm -hmm. um, and that if we didn't take her, he would be shipping her and getting four hundred dollars from her at the border. So, which he would have no problem doing. No. No hurt feelings on his end there, nope. if that's where Lulu ended up. So, yeah. so um, she ended up with us, and she was the 11th yeah. horse of our auction save, and now she's here, and she doesn't ever have to think about that awful fate. So She deserves the happy ending. She does. You're okay, Lulu. You are just... Thanks. It's like holding a live grenade in your hand. Come on, come on. Good job. Yesterday, one of our clients, one of our, my gay buddy, he went, him and his boyfriend went to 
the exotic sale in Jackson, mm -hmm. and someone bought a micro mini mule, and he said it was like no bigger than a, what did he say? It was like the size of a, yeah, it was like up to his knee. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I want it. Easy. Said they, said they had a zebra at the, okay? Hey, hey, hey. I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, I'm right here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're good. You're good. Same thing as the other yes. side. Yep, 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 yep. You're okay. You're, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah, easy. You are just tense. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Breathe. Yeah, breathe. <laughs> In through the nose, out through the mouth. Or whatever they tell you to do. Oh. Come on. You're okay. Come on. Uh, just, 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 just chill. Okay. If they're not too bad, maybe they can wait until she settles in more. We can do that too, just so she don't have a spaz attack and cripple me completely. Mm -hmm. That one front left one we did trim though was long. Yeah. But the one don't look horrible. I'd like to address some flares on the back, but I don't know how she's going to do with her back. Might be a bit of a rodeo. I think we'll wait until she's a bit more settled. That's fine. Too, too much new stuff going on right now. 589. 589? What's your new name, buddy? Well, this is Wrangler. Come on, bud. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, oh yes, God. the big fetlocks. That's right. Boy. What? When I retire, I'm gonna write a book. Hey, hey, pay attention. Hey, I'm over here, please. Thanks, buddy. In the farrier world, that's what you call a whack and tack. In a hurry, don't give a shit. I would be, I well, I wouldn't do it, but to, I no. don't know. This that just that's yeah. <laughs> These are the four horses that are pulling carts. I don't know how many miles away. Well, look at but them. Yeah, all the right. all the families that pass them and are like, oh my gosh, look at the horse pulling the cart, and this is what they're going through the whole time. Uh -huh. I was at a barn on Monday doing an innocent little old lady's horses and she was talking about driving through Amish country and 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 they're and, and they're not all bad. They're really not. They're really not. But it's like, you know, you get one bad egg and it sours the whole the whole dozen, you know. And, yeah. And she's like, Oh, it was so cool to see all them cart horses and and it's like, it is, but when I drive by and see their feet and legs, this just mm -hmm. makes me cringe and cry and makes my hair stand up on my arms, but. You're all right, bud. Get that away from me. I know that stinks. It's just impression material, but yes, it does stink. <laughs> oh boy. So when you when you put a pin in on these heavy pads to keep them from flopping and making your shoe loose, they make and I have them on the truck I can show you. They're just a you know a pin you drill a hole and you drive your pin through. Well, these guys drilled a hole and used a shingle nail. I'm gonna drive it out and I'll show you. <laughs> Maybe you can see it. But you can see when you have a shingle nail, those tiny little ridges there, well that's what that is. <laughs> Take a look at that. God damn, this is why I'm gonna write it. But yeah, it's a shingle nail. I'll take your word for it. I, I've, I've heard of it being done, but that's the first time I've ever seen it. But I will say, he did a very good job on making his own quarter clips. I, I, <laughs> that, that's such a really damn good job on heating it up and doing it himself. I mean, that, he did a good job there, but... <laughs> those, those pins aren't that expensive. I think I'd have just bought an extra box. 
one, two, you see how this, you see how much overlap this hoof is, the hoof wall where the shoe is? I mean, it's sucked in there by a quarter inch. And it should be out for support. Yummy. That's not actual impression material. What is it? That's just plain silicone. I wonder if that's what's in the spat box too. Do you want, are we doing x-rays on his fat box before we, we do anything? I think we should, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's. This is Sketcher, and he just pooped again. Thanks, bud. Sketcher. Another one for x-rays, too. We'll just flat and round forward. Maybe we'll see what a trim shows. Yeah. yeah. He moves solid. Okay, good. I think we're going to shave that down, though. We have got another folder. We've got some serious separating from the hoof wall in the lamina and the sole. What the hell do they feed them? Silage? Pin firing. Yeah. But only on the left legs? Did Just the left. Right? Just the left. Can I at least see your back feet? Can we get x-rays on him before we trim him? Because he, he has foundered and I want to see where that separation has started. And if he's turned in pigeon-toed because of the founder or if that's just confirmation. Just that way we can get him set up the right way. Okay. Because even if he did need shoes, we wouldn't be able to shoe him because right. his walls aren't strong enough. Okay. Uh, Levi? It just his, uh, his back legs. You see how they're really... It's like he rolls on them. See how it rolls to the outside. Definitely that left hind, but you kind of see there when he's doing it how he... Oh, he won't hold still. Right. And then looking at his fronts too, he's got something shaking. The fronts don't look good anyways because the shoe has been on there forever and they're... Okay. Well. Pull the shoes and go from there? Yeah. I'm just really scared. Yeah, that halter I don't think is doing anything. No, I'm, it's not. I'm, I'm guessing he pulled that left hind because of his how he crosses over and catches. And there's still a nail. There's, in yeah, there. you can still see the nail. Look at the condition of the front feet too. I see how, that. How they're all chipped and cracked. And there's some sort of nasty injury on that front left. That's on his heel. He probably got his foot stuck in something when he was young. I wonder how much anxiety I'm gonna get when I pick this foot up and see how this shoe is shaped. Let's we'll find, find out. out. Hey. You gotta stand on your feet, dude. She's pretty All that's bruised. We got some white line going on. Mm -hmm. That don't mean anything really as far as bruising wise because he's a road horse. But bruising there always scares me because that's where your navicular bone is right about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Clean it up a little bit just to get an idea of what you got shaking. Yikes, ouch. Oh, Poor man. guy. It's just raw. Yeah. See, now Doug's friends with some good Amish. Oh, yeah. They I've represent got... the community good, and then you got these ones. Yeah. Well, there's good and bad in every society. Well, yeah. They, they, they know how to cook. Uh -huh. So what are you, we're going to trim this up? or? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that other one to see, because if we're going to trim them, we've got to be able to match them. The main thing is, is to bring that toe back, but if we bring it back more, I'm scared because of all this cracking and and chipping and if we got to have something to nail to in the future we got to make sure we have enough real estate to work with right um that's my main concern oh buddy you're okay Jeez. okay What are you looking at? Or for? Looking at the... If you come back here, you can see it, but look at their heels. 
on how unlevel they are. On the front feet, you can see how they're... Oh, on the front. That front right is really shifting inward. Oh. The front left is really shifting outward. Battery's dying. So I have a feeling that's a mix of poor feet, poor nutrition. I mean, them feet are in pretty rough shape. Okay, what caused it? So, I'll show you. So I was looking at the, you can see where the fever line is in the foot. But then you look over here, and it looks real, you know, you see where that hoof wall just looks dead, and then you've got some like black on the lamina. Well, what that is, is he had a hot nail, and looks like he had two of them because it hits both the, the second and third hole above that quarter clip, which caused that whole, your fever line right here, your bruising, went all the way around the foot. So, how he's still not lame is beyond me. So yeah, he's gonna need x-rays on all fours before we, he had two hot nails on that second and third hole on the outside to where it actually looks like it killed part of the lamina. That one will need some x-rays as well. This is 500. Oh my. Armani. Yeah. Look at that inside heel, how much. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, your feet are brittle. Yeah, he was the one we got 200 200 bucks. 100. 100 bucks. 100. $100. His feet are soft, as in brittle, as in the biotin and keratin levels in his system are shot. I just can't believe his, that shoe, that. All right, dude, let's pull you ahead a little bit. Good, enough. That'll the work. shoe, the wall is on the floor. Yeah, did you see that? Come here. Did you see the back though? Is it nailed into his sole? I mean, that's what it looks like from here. God, I hope not. Or I'm gonna drive to Iowa tonight and I'm gonna kill somebody. It needs to happen. Oh. You're all right, bud. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me a little bit too. Come on, bud. Okay, uh, lead rope. Just in case. I don't want to wake up and have to go to work and then die. So you kind of I want to die, but I'm fussy about how I die, damn it. <laughs> I got to have that gay guy get me them cows that he was trying to hit on me about. That you laughed so hard, didn't you? Did you? Yes. Did you ever hear back from him? <laughs> no, he blocked me, the son of a bitch. I love how he, like, specified you can have what, whatever kind of cow you want. <laughs> I'll send you the money. You just... Buy the cows. You were just, supposed to be a just, you know, give me your bank account information. That's all I want. Oh, you're kind of a spaz. I'm not going to smack you, but I just, I need to get that shoe off. Do you want it off or not? I don't want it. Okay, I'm getting really angry. Hey. Oh, my can someone get a picture of this really fast? Part of the shoe is like almost touching. Please don't be nailed in the sole. Oh. You got it? Yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? Your foot. What in the? It's how soft his feet are. Because his body's failing. When they're that thin, their body don't grow a foot. This is like an old horse. Wow. You look young. You just need some feed. You don't even really have that wormy of a belly. Thin. Like really thin. I can't believe that shoe was on like that. I don't see any nail. That's the way they're all so chipped and goofy and weird. And... 
No. No nail, no nail holes there. Or I'm just I'm guessing the other three fell off because his feet are so soft the nails just <laughs> drug through. Wow. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to really trim him because his feet are failing. Yeah, really um, off, so. We trim him, he's gonna be crippled, like lame lame. Because he's so soft. We'll and honestly, some weight on them. I mean, they're not awful. Obviously, they're all misshapen, but they're not. I mean, they look ugly, but it's not like they're curling. And yeah. They, uh. Way bigger yeah. bones. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of shit that makes me want to go home and drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. But then I get a little feral when I drink, you know. So Dr. Kristen just got here. We are headed over to quarantine and we're going to get these horses eval'd. See what uh, we're dealing with. 224. Hi, sweetie. I believe her name is Claire. <laughs> Sorry? Claire. Claire. Okay. Mm -hmm. and do we have any idea about her? Like age and stuff like that. Let's see. Nope, we'll have to look for her. Sounds good. And all right. She seems good other than the lump. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got a goofy yeah, lump. Kind of the lump You're cute concerned. though. You're very small. Maybe you'll let me look right away. Yeah, they had her as like middle age, did they? They didn't even have an age on her. <laughs> she was just adult. Yeah, I think that was an adult. Let's see that. Got kind of funny the color on your teeth. Let me see. Hmm. I don't know. She's kind of funny. I thought from looking at that that she'd be younger, but now I'm looking at these and they look older. Like adult, would you say 18 to 20? But they didn't tell you nothing. No. no they All right. literally just put A or right adult. I don't understand how they can do that. Yeah. Let's call her 20 then. 20? Yeah. Okay. Next to Claire. Wasn't that interesting? I wonder what you did in your past life, huh? Because it's like movable under the skin. That's of course uh, probably going to need to be removed if they want to ride her. Huh? I bet you that could be removed. It feels mostly fatty. Hmm. That would be something where I wonder if you could do an incision in the middle and just shell it out and see what comes back, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, they come out of dogs really easy like that, yeah. so. Hmm. Yeah, it feels just like soft, fatty tissue inside of it, so. It's just something, I don't know, something happened to her at some point. Just teasing her. Yeah, it moves around. Like, I feel like it, it should, it's not like attached underneath where I feel like it should come out pretty easy. Feels like a tumor a dog would have. 97.7. Okay, right, Claire, I think that's about it for you, my dear. All right, so this next one coming in is Miss Prada. She's supposed to be roughly five years old. I think oh. her birth year was 2019. Okay. Um, her back end is her issue. Yeah, I thought I saw her walking up the hill not well. Not well at all. Hi. You look worried. You have the most worried expression. She's look at your sweet. eyebrows. Very sweet. Then we might have to try to watch you walk again. Hi, sweetie. Well, oh, your teeth are even lined up funny. But yeah, you said five, yeah. 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 At least they were correct that you're a young girl. Oh, she's even shaped funny like here, like her withers. I feel like I don't want to walk around behind you. Broke, like broke to ride? What's yeah. written on her? I just can't believe anybody would ride her if she was moving like, like this. Mm. Like that's sure kind of scary. 100.3. Okay, well then let's we'll watch her move and see what we think of that. She's supposed to be like standy, all standy? They said quarter horse. It did? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Everything is wobbly, like every joint and, okay. 
I know we don't have much room to move around in here, but let's just try to go straight. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Mayor. It's okay. Hey, she has some strength. Hey, Mayor. I know. I'm the weird one right behind you. All right, then we'll go straight. Not very much strength that way. Okay, see if she'll back straight up. Oh my, she's like, I can't pick those up. I wonder if she was born this way, to be honest, versus like something that happened later, unless she had a really bad injury that damaged something in here. Cause she just still everywhere, she doesn't look correct. So, I mean, yeah, we could do the EPM testing and, and stuff like that if you guys wanted to invest in that. And you could have Dr. <laughs> Dr. Wodak take a look at her. But I'm guessing she could have like something in there like a kissing spine or a, you know, a spinal cord issue is what I would say is probably happening with her. Which unfortunately, there's not much you're gonna do about that. I mean, for fun, if you have Dr. Wodak come in, she could take a feel of that. She might be kinda, I wanna know what's going on like. <laughs> You know, this isn't, nothing is shaped quite right. It's like, just like a flat board. Yeah, she just, so I mean, something in there could be fused or something just isn't right. And then as she grew, it's starting to impinge on the spinal cord and then she's just wonky like this. I don't even want to pick up her legs because I'm afraid she might. She, she falls. She just yeah. falls, like I don't want her to tip onto Polly, us. Polly had to pretty much hold yeah, her she, yesterday. She, she did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, yeah. She did fairly well, though. And I mean, she doesn't even have, like you see, she doesn't even have any real good butt muscles or something. If she was an older animal and she had been normal and then it changed, I would say let's do some EPM testing, which we can still do if you guys want to try. But I think being as she's a young horse, this is probably more of a congenital thing. So up next, you've got Miss Tiffany. I know when Polly tried to grab her front leg yesterday to trim it, she was squealing and trying to kick. So just oh. be a little cautious. She eventually let him do it, but... Yeah. Okay. Is she young and just she naughty is or? 13, 13 question mark. Okay. Oh, she was Yeah, everything is like Her kind of posty at the fetlock and then she's just, yeah. Yeah. Well, she's even puffed up in especially that fetlock. Not gonna touch your feet yet. Yawn. Oh, she's even stocked up on that leg. Is that new or did she come like that? She came like that. Okay. Okay. I won't. Just be careful touching. This is how Mary was and she would get sassy. So. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hey. no. Behave yourself. This is a stethoscope. It's. Yeah. Hey. Knock it off. Quit. Now. Be nice. Guess who's not getting her temperature taken? That'd be you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't squeak. Hey, hey Mayor. Quit that. That's naughty. That one made me jump. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're just a naughty little thing, aren't you? I think you need a lot of desensitizing, don't you? <laughs> Can't even touch your side. Can I work my way back? Yeah. Don't even pay attention to me. Tickle, tickle. Tickle. Tickle, tickle. You stop, Mayor. Polly's going to need a lot of drugs to work on your feet. He got her fronts done, I think, or the one. What's that? He got one of the fronts done, I think. He's brave. Polly Something. is brave. She kind of has quite the mirror glare, doesn't she? Are you missing one? One, two, three. No, that's right there. Okay. Hi. Okay. All right, Krabby. Um, I wish that I could look at those legs because you see how her fetlock is so big in the back and she's almost clubby on that foot. And then she's stocked up all over in the cannon bone on the left side. So she, I mean, she's definitely got enough lameness issues. But does she walk funny on it? Other, yeah. She does when you guys move her around? She's kind of sideways. Like waddles in a way. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see how she walked if she had that foot trimmed, but if she allowed you guys to x-ray those back legs would be the question. She'd probably need to be stated for everything. 
something we could do. Yeah. And I mean, I would go, I'd get the hawk on both sides too, and then absolutely the fetlocks. But I mean, catch that cannon bone too, because she's all swollen up. I don't know if she had an injury to that that's a more recent thing, or she's like one of those lymphedema type horses that it's not going to go down. I'm just not going to pick it up. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even take her temperature. I don't want to no, die okay. today. You could try a round of Uniprim on the off chance that she's got some cellulitis in that left hind, but like without touching it and taking her temperature. I don't know for sure. But if you pit on, if you pinch on it when she's sedated and it leaves a thumbprint, then assume that there could be some infection under the skin and do some antibiotics. But I'm guessing that fetlock is an old injury and maybe she puts too much pressure on the left and then it swells up. So up next we've got Gucci. Gucci. So I'm guessing she had a history of founder was oh. the thing? Well, yeah. he yeah, he was trimming away at her front left, I believe. Front right. Oh, honey. Her right. And he was afraid he was hitting the coffin bone. Okay. She's supposed to be 16. Okay. Okay, take it easy, Mayor. Got a couple of Coggin dates, years. Yeah, I mean, she might be closer, like later teens, but that's okay. And 16. Yeah, 16 will be okay. 16. I want to watch her walk when she leaves because I'm real curious. Oh, she's going to watch Tiffany walk. Oh, well, that fetlock is, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think the pain's in that fetlock in the right hind, and then. She's compensating maybe, is that why she's? Definitely could be putting more weight on that left hind, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll start there. I don't know if you can get butte into her or your Prevacox or anything like that, if she gets fed separate. I mean, I would hope if maybe a little bit of pain medication and if that fetlock is the main issue, we can get her walking a little bit better. Then she almost almost knuckles a little bit too. Okay, that's all right, you can let her go. Tip over that. Yeah, it's awful to look at. She's gotta have a, just a spinal cord that would look awful on x-ray. Oh, there she's crossing over. Is that yummy? She did too. She just Good job. Too. Good job, Mayor. Okay, you said, ooh, yeah. 16. That's definitely rotated and starting to dissolve at the tip, isn't it? She sunk, you should have sunk a little bit. And you showed these, you did show these to Polly. I mean, it's not, it's not completely straight on. It's more straight on than the other one. But it's more straight on than the other one. And so it, from what I see, it looks like you got some soul to work with there. Not a lot though, because she did drop a bit. And she's already rotated and we already have some weird changes at the tip of it. Because he was cutting in there and it was getting really soft and squishy and he wasn't mm -hmm. sure if he like hit the Janice. coffin oh. bone or not. Yeah. So he yep. took x-rays then he wanted you to look before he kept mm -hmm. going. No, I would agree. She's definitely... Yeah, I, I still think at least from this angle it looks like you have some, some soul to work with. But obviously a lot less than she has on the left. So if Polly's comfortable with it, I think he should do a little bit. Because at least with the toe, he could maybe leave some of the bottom and take a heck of a lot of... He's, you can see how much toe he can take to hopefully make her a little more comfortable. Okay. And maybe a pad or something like that. The, the old laminitis story, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and it's you know, getting... And it is... Lines, he was worried that that was like an infection of some sort. Well, it is, right here, it's kind of... The light spot is where it's kind of lytic mm -hmm. looking. And so that would make me think that, yeah, she's kind of dissolving it a bit. So... We just got to make her comfortable, hopefully, by taking the toe back and maybe doing a shoe. But taking the toe, he doesn't have to take much sole. Right. Right, her left doesn't look worse on x-rays. She's just low in the heel and such a long toe. I'm surprised that she's... This side looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit... It, this, the left is a little rotated, too. But nowhere near like this guy. All right. Standard founder treatment. Okay, so this is JC Penny.
capitalize the JC and the P like the real store? Yes. Yep. That's what we're doing. I actually miss JC Penny. <laughs> question mark I miss Shopco. Do you have a Shopco yet? Shopco? No, yeah. that left a while. I do miss it though. <laughs> 18 year old. Oh, yeah. hello, Belgian. Yep. yep. <laughs> Whatever happened to that old Belgian that I opened her mouth and she had awful, awful teeth, that 12 year old? Did she gain weight after we worked on her? Okay. Seventh or rotated yeah, tooth in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah She's yeah. gaining weight on it? She got adopted too and she's out. Hopefully they are getting her. into her mouth again because she'd need repeated care. We did tell them that. We did okay. tell them that. Hopefully. Yeah. So far, I've just never seen her, issues. so I'm like, I don't know where she is. But like something like that with this one where she's relatively young, if she doesn't gain weight, we got to get in the mouth. I suppose they thought JC Penny because you're kind of a copper colored. Hi. Are you sweet mare? Hello. You've got so many owies. You wore a halter too much. Oh, I know, Mayor. She's like around and around in circles. Oh, you're really interesting and worn. Are you sure you're not older? You wore that thing down to nothing. Look at that inside around the corner. It's like rounded off. It shouldn't, like the side of it. See that? Yeah. So I can't really see a groove. <laughs> Usually they don't wear the outside of it, so I don't know if you've been, if you were a naughty habit girl, like rubbing your teeth on something. Oh, that side too. There's nothing that should be doing that though. I mean, based on how worn her front teeth are, I would think she's a lot older than that. I mean, look at those things. Like 20 plus. Yeah. Oh, and that would make more sense because you're so skinny, but yeah. At least your feet don't look horrible compared to some. I heard you guys have had foals since I saw you last. They did not get hers. Had what? Some foals. They didn't get hers? Not here. But I mean, you adopted them out and then they had, was it, there were two mares that we were um, waiting Nikki on and one Minaj had. Nicki and Piccolo. Piccolo's had hers. Piccolo had hers. Yep. Nicki Minaj. She was the one that wasn't due till like July, July or August or something. Yeah. That fetlock on the left hind is a little thicker looking. <laughs> She's not paying attention to us. Does she, she seems thicker on this fetlock, but. Yeah, I see that a little. Hey, mama. I don't know if you're going to let me touch it, though. We don't need no draft horses giving us no kicking. Sure, you've had your feet done. I mean, it's not like edema or anything like that. It just feels thicker on that joint. Good mare. Yeah, definitely thicker there. she lame on it at all? Not that you haven't noticed notice. anything? Well, if you are feeling like x-raying things, that one might show you something, that left hind fetlock. Okay. I guess just see what you find when he starts working on her feet. Hey, mare. Are you a dragon? <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So this next one coming in is Lulu Lemon. Okay. Hi, sweetie. We had to talk to you. What happened? Is that must be a recent blindness then? If you, oh no, not the right one though. No. That's been like that. Hi, sweetie. You want to sniff? Lulu. Hey, hey, Lulu. And we I'm don't right know here. How old I know. To I be. want you to know that I'm here, but to, you can't sniff me. Oh, I know. How about I come right up the halter then? Yes. You kind of scaredy pants. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. It's okay, Mama. He'll be okay. I don't think he knows. Yet. I don't hey. think any issues with her other than her sight. Oh. Hmm, I wish I had my light in here. We might shine at this eye. Uh... Hi, Mayor. There we go. I didn't need her, actually. Did you figure out who the other one would be? Hmm? Interesting. Okay. And her pupil's obviously not moving at all. Hi, hey, Mayor. Like Doesn't feel like glaucoma. No, you're fine. She's the one moving her eyeballs around and stuff. Hmm. 
they don't know if this is like, at least on this side, if it's a more recent blindness versus. We have no information on her. Okay, because she came from the auction too. Because this one's obviously really chronic, but the fact that this one, the eyeball isn't shriveled or hard or terribly, you know, otherwise there's not other, very many changes besides the surface right there. Maybe she's one that we could do something about it, you know, if she had lepto. We could do like a neopoly dex drop and put her on doxycycline and just see. I mean, you could obviously run the lepto test, but yeah. to know for sure. Don't like it over there. I know. I'm trying to talk to you and let you know that I'm here, and now you're going to probably run into that when I touch you. I know you're going to do it. Yep, I just knew you were going to do that. Hey, I go up the rope because you know where the halter is. Hi. Hello. What you so scared for? You don't want me to touch your body? Hi. You are a tense girl. Look at that. Oh, tense, ticklish. Yeah, you're okay. Sis, I'm trying to trust you. My goodness, look at you. You're doing good, Lulu. We've got to work our way back. Hi, right here. Good job. You're not quite so tense, are you? Oh, come on now. What's so different? Two hands. All these years later. I'm not going to go around behind you by any means. Okay, it's me again. I'm going to work my way from the halter up because that seems to make you happy. Oh, what did, what did you do to your jaw? Oh, that's weird. Hi. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And it, it can feel like where she must have done something to it at one point. Maybe she broke it here because it... You can really, if you feel it, you can feel an indent and the bone is kind of displaced. She also doesn't have quite as... I said I don't even want to know. Yep. You had an owie. I mean, she's, she's so jumpy that it, it's like, well, is this a more recent blindness? So maybe we have a chance if we run around a antibiotic and eye drops through her and banamine at the same time mm -hmm. just to see okay. if she can see but I don't know the world. we can try I don't have high hopes for it but it's something I just want to see if you have a fever with your eye being an issue but I don't know if we're going to get any success back here yeah I don't think you're going to let me touch your butt you're not going to let me touch it man you are so tense if we keep going in a circle you're just going to run into something pretty soon here girl Well, we don't know how smart she is. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, that is good. Watch out. <coughs> See? See? I just don't want to take my hand off you because you'll forget where I am. <laughs> Are you maybe deaf too? That... She says what? <laughs> I don't know. She's not perking her ears at it. Yeah, maybe she hears a little bit. She hears the green bucket at least. Okay. Well, I'm just like, why is she? She's so startling. I'm like, does she not even hear when I'm talking to her that I'm approaching her? Because it's like the second you touch her. I think she's just freaked the out. Yeah. Well, she's trying to figure out her new, new life. Yeah, not being able to see and ran up and down the auction. And she maybe she really. Oh. She had a back there. I wonder if she had like a. <laughs> like a support animal at home that helped her like you know they bond to one that and if she got separated from them well you know all that is like it seems like the blind one kind of finds a, a guide horse
I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. No. Okay, fine. I'm gonna give up on your temperature. But I wonder if you'll let me look in your mouth. That I would like to know, girly. Yeah, I don't know how I'm doing. Hold your mouth very nicely. If you have any teeth are in there, yeah, do you? Did they think she was like 15? I was having, I want to say I heard 16. I think I'm just as much as this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know. It's not on that side. I know. She's mm -hmm. weird about that, isn't she? <laughs> she kind of slanted in her mouth. Based on that one, yeah, I'd say 15. Okay. okay. But, but probably a 15 to 18, maybe. Somewhere in there. We'll keep her right at 16 then. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like and that. she's got a little bit of a slant, so I don't know what the back teeth might look like. Mm -hmm. All right. Wrangler? Wrangler. Okay. I'm assuming gelding. Oh, look how puffy they are. My goodness, honey. Owie. Hi. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if anything you can do at that point. They're so far gone, you, like injection-wise and stuff. We got like a cavity on that tooth. You got a cavity? Mm -hmm. It looks a little inflamed. So you had no age on him at all? No. He was adult as well. Okay, let's do on him like, hey, 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 hey. Let's put him at 20 to 20 as well, not 22. Okay. You know, let me touch, Wrangler. No, you behave. Not trimming your feet. Yeah. Thank you, though. Nice dog, Right? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're just enough. enormous. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't go any. Ugh. Oh, bud. The only good news being maybe they're all fused up and they don't hurt that bad once they're finished, you know. Hi, bud. Yep. X rays to us. There does feel like a lot of that's bony. Okay. But it might, like I say, I mean, if it was completely bridged, decreased range of motion, but maybe not as much pain. Well, we'll watch him walk when he comes out of here, but it is hard. There's a little bit of, little bit of soft on top, but probably all fusing. It's funny though, because it's not down in his pasterns, it's just both fetlocks. Keep him comfortable with like a Prevacox or an arthritis medicine, then so be it. He can do that. Okay, so this is Levi. Standy, they were both standies, weren't they? Hi, you're coming yep. over. No Do age. A, no age? Okay. No age. Read it, yeah. Overly concerning with him, other than the fact that Polly thinks that his feet were kind of indicating past founder. Um, yeah. They're kind of ugly. Yeah, just because of the angle. So he said to x ray him before we. Or he wants to do anything. anything him, so. He must have had shoes on too then. Okay. Everything else sounded okay. You could always catch those too, because you see his rear fetlocks are a little bit thicker than his fronts. Oh, okay. So. Yes, yep. Mr. Armani here. If he I does. remember right, his back end was a little funky. I can't remember if it was his back end or just... He's walking weird. How he looks, his weight. Was he supposed to be older, younger? No clue. Just skinny. Just skinny. And maybe you're just walking funny because you got more muscle. Here's... Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Don't do that, don't do that. Whoa, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Honey? Oh, you're young. Yeah, you are young. Yeah, he's just a baby. Oh, he's just, just a baby. That's, even that corner one there is just a baby. It's not even an adult. See, it's actually his adult is right there underneath and he's shedding, that's his baby tooth coming off right there. Oh, so like. Two and a half, three, three and a half, coming four. Oh boy. But yeah, those are, those are baby teeth. Oh, his, his fecal what? His fecal, fecal count was 25. Oh. So it's not like he's yeah. army. Hi. Hi. Hey. Maybe you just weren't me. getting the groceries. But the other thing to consider too, in a horse his age, this is where they're losing caps. And if he's got a cap in there that's bugging him. So maybe okay. have his teeth. Yeah, I would. This is that perfect time for when those ones are getting stuck. I took caps out of a mammoth donkey last like two weeks ago it was the weirdest he had caps on the bottom and it was his second not even his third premolar really interesting super nice the people and the donkey and everything like that i'm like huh so mammoths like 
and he's he's young, you know. He's, his head was like this big. <laughs> Pretty cool. But you are a young boy too. You need to gain some weight for us. Yeah. This definitely makes me think, though. He's got this bleached, like light-colored stuff that's not shedding out. That he's also. It was just a, a big thing was nutrition for him. Yeah. Do you think? Um, hey, bud. Because his count was a little for for strong gals, but. Yep. Like I would always with the younger horses, we would always do the panicure for five days. Um, but I know there's resistance to that. Part. I'm hearing from more parasitologists that they're not that excited about panicure. Okay. They want ivermectin. Okay. So or moxidectin. And you could do one with praziquantel in it in case he's got a tape or something. Yeah, we usually do like a gold there's golds yeah. or gold. Yeah. Gold. Yep. Yeah. Do you think it'd be good to deworm him even though his count was low to get it? Yeah, I answer? would. Okay. Okay. And he's even got was he running around out there like an idiot? Yeah, he was. Okay, that's right. He's warm. Okay. He's 1027, oh, oh, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he feels warm, but you haven't noticed any snotty nose or anything? Or Not with I didn't, any of these guys. I didn't see any discharge. Yeah, he just. It's, yeah, you said that. I don't know. It just sounds like he breathes a little funky. But. He'd be a good one when we get in his mouth, then we'll see, because maybe he's got something. If there is an infection or yeah. something. Yeah. And then we could put the stain in his eyes and see if it drains down to his nose to see how the tear duct is doing, like you were talking about, too. Okay. You're just a baby, just which a is baby sad that you're some... as skinny as you are. Yeah. So, but 1027, yeah, he's pretty, pretty warm, but a young horse that was running around like he just was. I'd okay. like to get in his mouth. All right, so up next is Sketcher. Um, May 7th. Your birthday's tomorrow. Good job. No. That was a month ago. Yeah. Yep. Where, did, where did May go? <laughs> yeah, this guy's 18. Good. Yeah. All right, bud, you're done. I think the last one is just stud man. Once we get him. Oh, too many people. Oh, we'll back away. He's pretty sleepy. You're okay. Oh, you're okay. Easy, girl. You're okay. Oh, oh. Easy. You're okay. You're okay. No biting. Very good, Ferg. You did good. Good girl. You're doing good. I'm not gonna hit you. You're okay. I'd like to get her in there, if you'll let us. Easy, you gotta come in here. Easy. Good girl, Ferg. Come on, Ferg. Good girl. She's a sweetheart. Girl. In the vet suit. Vet stock, whichever. She's your product, yeah. What a good girl. Tell him you just misunderstood. <laughs> We're trying to understand. Right. Easy. So are we wanting to do x-rays, you said, on her fronts well, that are dropped? Do, like, what do you think looking at them? Yeah, looking at them, I think, I wonder how much fixing feet would fix them. You know, that'd be my first thought. I'm not saying that that's an easy job, but. Because if anything, they almost look less dropped than when she first got here. Yeah, and I'm not saying fixing feet is an easy job, but, um, you know, I wonder if you can get her sedated and in vet stocks, if you could get those feet trimmed off and would help her. At her age, I don't know if she has joint issues. Well, we're wondering more like last time. Yep. Which again, how much is X are you going to tell us with that? Right. You know, that's why I'm saying joint issues. I don't think she has lax tendons. You know, you could maybe put an ultrasound, but even ultrasound, they don't look inflamed. So what could we do? We could try treating her with tetracycline, but I don't do that in a pregnant animal because cyclines are not good for pregnant sure animals. Maybe. So right. let's. I'm going to preg check her, okay? If that's all right with you guys. That would be good to know. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Perfect. And I would say for me, I'd try. Um, Easy girl. You gotta be good, okay? Otherwise, you don't know what these crazy girls will do to you. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> you can delete that. <laughs> Did they get rid of her because of the lax tendons? Maybe. Was she this crazy and that's why they got rid of her? She was what? Broodmare sound only. Oh, okay. But her backs look solid. You know, I would say if it was me, I would check those fronts. Because um, she doesn't look lame when I was seeing her. Again, I didn't do a full lameness exam by any means. Do not kick. You're okay, girl. She's like, I'm just making sure it's still you. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Ah, cute little baby. No way. So she was about 60 some. Um, a little over two months. So that's about what they said. Yeah. Like days yeah. Got a baby. That thing is adorable. <laughs> oh, I could have shown you on my, if I had my extra screen. It has a baby. You can palpate her and find out. <laughs> you want to do x-rays on her? I'm not saying you should, couldn't. Selenium for sure, you know, get her on a selenium block. I'm generally a big fan of the oral products unless, you know, last resort injections, but. Salt block and stuff. Yep, especially for her, she hates shots. <laughs> you saw how she was when I poked her. Wow, I'm, I, mean, I like her. Yeah, I hate <laughs> it. I think she likes you. <laughs> when you come next Monday, bring your trailer. <laughs> well, uh, I think we'll pass on the x-rays because so. regardless, we have to get hands on her for baby anyway. So she's yeah. going to have to get used to us at some point. Yeah. Talk in a low voice. Talk in a low voice. We'll see. Let me fall out one mare and I'll tell you if I like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> there is some, a little bit of swelling in these. But there really isn't anything much in the tendon. Because the bags don't look bad at all. It's all in the fronts that are dropped. But sometimes I wonder about corrective shoeing could fix her. Honestly, mm -hmm. if she was handleable, I'm not saying for sure it would, but you, you can do a lot of this with good shoeing. Anyway, all right, I gotta keep moving. Do you wanna look at the other one quick? Yeah. And then we're done. I think he's intact. See one, I was trying to see two. I only saw one. I don't know if, if I could feel him without sedating him. Yeah. And I don't think. Maybe I could, I don't know. Catch him. Hi. He just likes to try and run away. So the left front, oh yeah, it's Kitty Wampus. Hey dude, you're okay. Easy. You're all right, buddy. Easy. We can always shrink those down. You can see that joint's already swollen a lot though. Mm -hmm. So that's concerning to me because he's not even grown into his body yet. He's gonna be- Bernie. He's what, a year and a half? He can't be over two just based on appearance. Yeah, I, think I guess I could right. look at his teeth if you let me. But. You could try because we didn't get to that. So. Hi, dude. No, actually, I don't know. His just said adult. Remember, he was an adult Palomino. He's not adult. Look at those teeth. Oh, yeah. And He's then... got a rotten tooth. Look at that tooth. Yeah, what is that? No, it's infected. Yeah, Ray noticed that. See that tooth? Oh. It snapped off and infected. He's got all baby teeth, and they're all in wear. How old are we? Yep, maybe two. Yep, you're a two-year-old. But what really concerns me is, is that front left foot is how swollen that hawk already is. And he's still gonna keep it Like, I, fetlock, I should say, he's, yeah, not that high. <laughs> <laughs> fetlock already is. Um, you know, so to me, it's like, yeah, it's probably congenital, but he's got angular limb deformity and a horse his size with angular limb deformity. If he was a mini, he'd probably live a fine life. But long-term, I don't know. It's not good, in my opinion, you know, it just, it's a bummer, but my guess is it's genetic. You could x-ray it to confirm it. Um, but uh, I guess he was born that way, but it's just permanently angled in that it's already so swollen. There's arthritis in there. There's something going on there. You need Coggins on you, dude? Nope. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> so we're just looking Save at him. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I don't need to do that. So, okay. well, See if I can. Oh, I think he's has quality of life as a pasture pet for another five to ten years, but it's not going to be, he's not going to reach 15. If he makes a 10 good quality of life, it's, he's going to be doing good. Oh.
you know, it's one of those hard things. Do I think he can run around like crazy now, it sounds like, and, you know, I don't think he's suffering right this minute, but he grows fully into his body, he puts on another 400, 500 pounds, and he's gonna continue to, I don't think, you could try some shoes to try to correct that some, but you're never gonna fix that joint. It's already he's shot. He's definitely lame already running around. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's going to Well, on. you know, he's walking on an ankle like this, right. and he's putting a, you know, he's a, all of 1,200 pounds already, and he's gonna Only reach. right now. <laughs> he's gonna yeah. reach 2,000 if he ever muscled out, which he probably never will. So I guess that's the call. Do I think he has quality of life now? I bet he does. You know, he's young, he can handle it, but two to four years, I think. Yeah, exactly. And I could try to see if you let me get alongside him. He won. You know, I would try. I guess if it was me, before I'd give up, you know, give him a little ace and relax him and see if the other one is there and just up. But it's like it's it's a warm day. Yeah, I'm worried about that long term. I don't think there's any way it's going to be great for a long term. I don't know how you can fix it with a giant horse like him. Right. So. I guess one of those decisions you got to think about, and like I said, we could try Ace, but right now I got to run. All right. Thank you. Yep.